Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to, if you are brand new. This is Kitty, and today I am going to make a set of coasters. So, as you can see, um, they're not white, they're like a, I don't know, I don't even know. I actually bought these off of somebody that was selling them, I think it was like $10 I bought them for, and it was close to 100, um, high 90s, I really can't remember, it's been a while, but um, they were just, they just didn't need them anymore, which is a great deal, because usually at my Home Depot or Lowe's, I can get 100 white ones for one of one, one, I think Lowe's is like $16 and Home Depot is like $17. So, um, so I picked these up some time ago. Um, and I actually have made coasters with this color um, before that are actually done. <clears throat> Here's one of the ones that is, that is done. And you can't tell. I love these, that they are, you know, not white. So, and I did paint the back. Um, I'm going to put my little stamp on. That's the name of my business. And um, so, yeah, these are done. They've been resined, painted on the back, all finished, ready, to, ready for the new home. So if anybody's interested, shoot me a message. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it, they don't have to be white, so, but I, I've got these, and I've taped them off on the back, so you don't get all messy back there, and, um, I did clean them with 91% alcohol, just clean them off really well, uh, fingerprints, you know, um, Okay, let's get started. So these are little two ounce cups. Adorable. Um, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going to fill them up. I, it doesn't take that much for these. Uh, I have already sprayed them with the WD-40 silicone spray. Um, it does help to release the paint from the cup, so you get all of that paint. And today I am going to be using Americana, which is a craft paint, Sea Breeze. I'm almost out of it. I love this color. And i um, not sure I'm going to get any more, but we'll see. Uh, Apple Barrel. Laguna, which is also a craft paint, very pretty color, <clears throat> and Creative Inspirations Viridian, oh, beautiful color. So um, I'm going to also add some white, which is just um, the um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics White. I always forget that. Um, so I'll probably throw some of that in there. I hope these colors look really well together. Um, the Viridian and Laguna is kind of close in color, but I don't know. I think, I, I love the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start light to dark because what you put in first into your cup is going to come out last. So, and I want that light to be on top. Yeah, for the most part. So I'm going to start with that. And hopefully I have enough. If I don't, I would be sad because I really like this color. So these little cups have little ridges in them. Which kind of helps you with um, <clears throat> seeing where you're at when you're putting your paint in. All of my paints do have 
the treadmill silicone. Um, and I really should bring that bottle over here for you guys so I can show you. Because I know I've mentioned it in other videos. And I will get that. A little bit more there. I don't know. I'm winging it. Okay, this is the viridium. This is a beautiful color. Oops. I'll grab that. So I haven't used my paints in a while. Like I have almost. <clears throat> I think I have almost 200 bottles of paint on my wall. <laughs> is that song in your head? Um, so I, I really do. And I just bought some more wood today. Let me put some white in here. Um, for more shelving for my paint. Just for my paint. And um, when I do get my, my little room done, I will show you guys. But um, yeah, I have a lot of a lot of paint going on. So I'm trying to make these as even as possible. Of course, none of them will come out the same. Just get one of them. But I thought this time I would show you guys me putting the paints in the cup because I, I don't think I've done that a lot on my channel because I know it does take up time. And, you know, you want to, when you're looking at a video, you want to see the end result. You want to want to get to it, right? I think that is plenty paint for each one because like I said these are two ounce and I think I don't I don't need two ounces of paint for these so I'm going to do a flip cup and I think I'll start over here so I would flip them all at once but yeah it just, for me, it just, it's just too much. And then I'll have cups here, and I don't want to bump them or anything. So, I think I'll start with the back, too. I hope these come out. I really love these colors. And if you guys have colors in mind, then leave them in the comments. I would love to try some new stuff. I have a lot. I wish I could show you. I have a lot of colors. All right, so I'm going to, I'm sure the paint is already down because of the WD-40. So I am going to go here for this. See, that's, that is a lot of paint for this one. So, note to everybody and myself, that was that's a two ounce cup. So, and I should have torched it first, but um, I was excited. <laughs> oh man, I hope these come out. Let me torch that really quick. Let's 
We layer it all So I'm going to just stretch it to where I think I might like it. And let's see. Not really sure what I do. I'm just gonna hang out for a minute here. Well, let's uh, let's see what the second one does. And this time I'll torch it first. Time. And you see this right here? That's actually a bald spot. That's where, and I'm worried about this right here. Because that just means that the silicone hit the tile first before the paint. And when that happens, you will get that bald spot. So I'm trying not to stretch it too much because it's just going to make it look all odd. So I'm really worried about this area here because it just... Looks a little thin, I guess. So maybe I can. There's really not a whole lot of paint on here. Which is good when it comes out right. But you need to really fix something. Then it's not. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'll leave that one. Oh, they look pretty green now. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> so look pretty here. Yeah, sure, I see three and four. Okay. 
give them a second to fall down. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have a mirror back there that helps me see that other side. Okay. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm, that's pretty. See, I think that's got more of a viridian in it. That's pretty. I love that color. Torches. Got all the bubbles out. I haven't touched the sides here, so I don't lose so much. So when I tilt, I kind of look at the design that's on there and try to see what I'm liking and where I kind of want to go with it. So like I was looking at this right here and this. To try to keep it and not make it all... Um, wonky, for lack of a better word, because I can't think of a better word right now. It is actually, uh, it is 11.45 Saturday, um, geez, May 11th. So this is Mother's Day weekend, and of course, I'm up painting because it's my weekend, and that's what I do because I have a full-time job. Eh, you know, got to pay for the paint, right? Art is not cheap, for sure. Right, Torches, all bubbles out. Yeah, I like that, but I like that. So I'm going to try to keep what I can without stretching it too much. But I don't want... I'm going to go like this. And that'll help it flow a little bit better. Let me get this other corner. Well, that one didn't have much color to it, did it? It's amazing how you can pour your paints all at the same time. Like you can put them all in your cups. And I'm not sure how much y'all got because my screen went off, but I was saying it's amazing how you can pour all your paint in your cups at the same time. 
and get such different results. I mean, you guys saw me pour them in there at the same time, you know, and you get such different results. So, if you can see all that, that's what they call lacing. I don't really want to lose it or stretch it too much. Um, just checking my corners. Trying to make sure it's straight on that little cup. I'm going to wipe my hands. And... You guys remember how I was worried about this area right here? I believe that is the actual tile in there. So I'll probably have to get some more paint on that. So I'm going to torch these again. Just one more time. Get the air bubbles out. And this one right here, that looks like the tile. That definitely does, that might pull up and that ball, this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more paint in the cup. Hopefully I have enough of this. I'm just gonna do a dirty pour. Oh my gosh. That was a Well done. Oh, I use the, the sea breeze. Very pretty. Let's see. I'm going to actually add a little bit more white than I did before. So I've only got those two colors. Which is, yeah, which is the, um, <coughs> the Lip Apple Barrel Laguna and the Creative Inspirations version and my white. So these are probably going to end up done. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just because I know that's 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 the tile right there, and that looks like it's going to be a hole. Same there. So I'm going to just. I'm just going to do That's a lot of dark on Okay, I really like that, but I know this 
not going to work out. I should do the same thing. And again, I'm just kind of trying to follow the design that's on there. And get something out of it. Okay, now you guys see how different these two are to these. So, I don't have much in there, so I'm going to put a little bit more in there. I'll actually add white first. Then I'll go with the Laguna. And the Viridian and some more white. So I'm just going to do it. See, this one's got more white. I'm just going to spread that around, just tilt it. Just until maybe I see something. I might be all over. Let me get it down that one corner just a little bit.
Okay, so I think I'm done. You can see those two look way darker, but I think I'm going to torch them and see what comes up, see if um, any more, I call them bald spots. So I don't really know what they're called, but see if anything comes up here. Make sure all my corners and sides are covered, which you would think they would be with all that paint. You would hope anyway, right? Alright. So I think I am going to leave them and see right there. So I might I might end up having to play with them for a little bit, but I think I think I'm gonna leave them and um, yeah. So there is one set of coasters and now I will be doing more um, so if you guys are ever if anybody is ever interested in any of my paintings that I've shown on my YouTube channel or in the group my Facebook or anywhere um, if you guys are interested I mean they're they're all for sale I just just shoot me a message and um, we'll figure something out. All right, so these are column done. I'm not going to mess with them. I'll baby them for a little bit, make sure they're, they, um, they're, they set up okay. But that's it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and click like, subscribe, and share if you feel the need. So, um, yeah, um, thank you for watching, you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.